So, I think I figured out why it's like all red like that. It's probably because it's still under construction. So all these like spider webs or, or spider web related structures and things are just like the Lockers trying to recreate structure, like hum like architecture. And you can see why it's like corridors now, because like they're, they're constructing it in like linear blocks and things, and it basically looks like a spider's like taken up residence here until you realize that that's just their way of construction. Um, yeah, so that's what's going on. That explains why the corridors are kind of weird, because they're, they're basically constructing this corridor by corridor. Um, so going on to the final boss, first impression was that um, it's not actually made of cheese. And then you think about it and you realize it's a reference to like the moon and the cheese and, and all of that. And then, oh that was the third reference that I completely forgot off of my mind, so I'll say that when I can think of it again. Um, the main thing here is these um, two side panels with the gimmicky explosives. And the number of arrows basically corresponds to the speed. And usually you just stay on the side, like close to the boss on the side with the most arrows. Because if you have three arrows it kind of explodes like three quarters of the way down. If you have like one arrow it explodes kind of like one quarter of the way down. Um, that would be a... Like that, that's just how I would like think about it to like sort of rationalize the mechanic. Um, but it does make you go um, kind of back here for one of the attacks because of the uh, uh, mines that it faces down. Also, it has a giant laser. Don't make sure it has a giant laser. Um, but yeah, that's the sort of gist of the final boss. That's like the only important thing to keep track of from a DPS perspective. I think. Obviously, I don't remember. Like, there. <laughs>